Hello, it is I, Johnny Heikenashi, the Great, funded futures trader extraordinaire and master sensei of the Freedom Nation. Now, this saga is pretty much based on the fact that I need to do my work as a hexkin. I am by far one of the best technical analysis, or if not the best technical analysis, trader in New York City. And the Hex community made me feel bad because I've never done anything to help anyone make money or pump our own bags. So you guys get this. If you want to learn how to read price action, this is a community for us here. Uh, you will learn everything that I know how to read and what you will see here today in this video as far as it goes to smart dollar cost averaging into our bags as well as pumping them and increasing our overall investment for all of us this is completely free as you can see look free all right no credit card needed now let's get down to business all right now we're looking at ink now so uh Let's pull these charts up for ink. I marked them up so you don't have to. But you should really learn this skill set. No cap. All right, four. One. Fifteen. Now, don't beat me up too bad because I don't use uh, TradingView. I use NinjaTrader. I am a futures trader. So, here we go. Right now. For ink, let's go over our discussion with ink and I'll tell you why the price action, what the price action is saying. Now, remember, I'm a futures trader, so I make money whether the market goes up or it goes down. Therefore, my mind is trained to be biased. I'm like Bruce Lee. I'm like water, my friend, okay? I see the cup half empty and I see it half full at all times because I need to be able to short when I need to short. I need to be able to long when I need to long. And I need to be able to be skilled at that skill set equally. That's why my skill set, as the guy said in the Hex community, would be truly valued here. And I'm doing a disservice to the team. So as you can see here, <clears throat> in, our, in our trading strategy, which you will learn from me once you join for free, uh, it, we have a setup T uh, being broken here. And this is our D setup, setup D. And in the setup D is you would not put in a lot of money because price could still come down here but you would get yourself in a good position in this area here or even here with a small amount of contracts or a small investment right and then scale in after they come up come back down retest and then blast to the upside okay after they prove that the buyers are back in charge you would then start scaling in with more more capital okay so you would start let's say if we were talking 10 contracts. You start with two. You'd start with one right here or two. You start with two here. After they break this uh, dynamic resistance level here, right? You would add another two. Once they come back and retest it, you probably add another two. Once they show you a beautiful swing to the upside, green candles, clearing this area here, heading to this next level of smoke, you'd probably add one. Once they blast through this level of smoke right here where sellers are proven to be there, then you would add another contract. Hope that makes complete sense, but that's how this is to be played if I were going to be dollar cost averaging into ink. Uh, I don't hold ink, but I know it's part of our community, and so therefore I want to represent and put on to those of you who do hold it, who are a part of our community, give you that insight. As of right now, um, on the macro chart here, you're looking at a nice little breakout, maybe possibly to the upside, but there will be a retrace before they come all the way up into here. Okay. Expect a heavy retrace because we have heavy sellers right here at this area. And then the next stop is going to be right here. So if you guys can bust through here, uh, good money all the way up into here. Good, good, good money. As we're looking here on the structure chart we we'll draw our lines out on the structure chart and see what we have on the structure chart. Okay. Locked up, boom, 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 boom. And this is sideways. All right. So we got here. 
turn that green. Okay, and let's make it a little bigger so we can see it. Got a three. Let's duplicate that. And we'll put this here like this because that is what's happening. That, that, that there. Okay, and this is going to be a red because this is a dynamic resistance level on this chart. So as you can see, we have an uptrend on the macro chart. We have a downtrend on the structure chart. This is not the best place to be making investments. Hence to why I said you would probably, if we were using 10 contracts, you would only really have probably three or four contracts on at this point and scale in because it's not quite proven that the buyers are really back in charge. It's just not, okay? Um, as you can see here, we had an order block and the order block got filled all the way to the bottom. So let's go on and clear that out. And if you knew how to draw your order blocks correctly and how to draw your dynamic support level, which is what you see on my four hour macro chart, you'd have been able to get in right here at the bottom of that order block and you'd have been in maximum profits all the way to God knows when. If it's going to pump, this would have been the perfect place to get in at right here. So if you didn't get in there, now your mind should be focused on where's the next place that I can get in at. The smart dollar cost averaging method is not to be just dollar cost averaging in right here. Let's say you got in right here on the four hour time frame. Well, now price is going down and you don't know if they're going to continue to go down and, ch and maybe these buyers aren't here no more. Maybe these buyers aren't here anymore on this chart. And maybe these buyers aren't here anymore, but maybe these buyers are here and they're going to show face. Well, now you're negative. When you could have just been able to read price action and would have known, oh, look, ooh, order block, boom, bottom of the order block, retrace set, boom, boom, boom. Tap this uh, dynamic supporters and dynamic or support levels in confluence with an order block. Bam, take the buy right here. Small amount of contracts. Boom, add more contracts after this resistance, dynamic resistance line breaks. Boom, now we got two contracts. You see what I'm saying? So this is why it's important. You guys just can't be blindly, you know, when we smart dollar cost average in, it makes our bags pump faster. We will all get rich faster. And I'm glad, I forgot who told me that in the forum, but I'm glad he made that clear to me because I never really saw a purpose in, in giving you guys technicals because you should just be holding the, the damn stocks anyway. You should just be holding all everything Richard Hart makes you should just be holding, period. But he was right. I, I can give you at least a smart concept way to dollar cost average into your profits so that you will make the most bang for your buck and our bags will pump faster because we will be part of the momentum that drives the market up. And that creates euphoria, which moves our profits faster to the moon. Okay, so as you can see here, we have down and we have down. All right. Uh, this has been, this four hour order block has been filled. Let's remove it. As you can see more clearer, buyers are running this, running these streets right here. They're running these streets, they're running these streets, they're running these streets. Okay. Any given time, don't get it twisted. There were sellers here. Okay. That's what this line is. This line is what we call an addict. Okay. It's something to be aware of, but don't really pay too much attention to it. But it is possible price could come back and retest this, this addict here. And come to about right here, which is 7.0973. Okay. So keep that in mind. Keep an eye on that. That might be the swing where they turn around and then head to the upside. And then you'll have yourself a nice, beautiful uptrend. Uh, that could possibly look like this. Shkablammy. And shkablammy. And that's when you would be wanting to get back in. Okay, you want to wait for the retrace. As of right now, we cannot see a retrace on our structure, on our structure chart. And this is the chart that I use to get into my trade. I mean, uh, that I use to set up my trade. Okay, let's go take a look at the chart that I use to get in the trade, my trading chart, okay? As we look at the trading chart, we can remove this because we no longer need it. Um, and as we look at the trading chart, you will see that we have a slight confluence. If we monitor to here, this retrace, this attic that I showed you earlier in the higher time frame, is coming down here by this red, by this green light. Okay, so something to pay attention to. It is possible price could come down here. And if they did come down here, 
that would be good for you and it'd be a nice place if it comes down here and the buyers still show face around seven seven point eight five eight and uh six six point nine eight three seven if they show face here ladies and gents who own this ink stock well then you get yourself a nice beautiful swing to the upside and a juicy very low low price okay you got in on a very low low price before the pump came let me show you and do, 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 do. and then you got that juicy pump to the upside right if they come down here and retest that means your trend line will look like this the momentum will gain and then they'll boost up okay so as of right now i'm going to say for ink hold off or do the scaling trick that i showed you right if you want if you got 600 bucks or let's say you got five 400 bucks you know i would go with 100 bucks now I would put in a hundred bucks now and then, and then see what it does. Don't be nervous when it starts to retrace. There's going to be a retrace, right? Or don't put in a hundred bucks. Wait for the retrace to come back and test this dynamic. This, uh, this, see how they're breaking the four hour buyers are breaking the dynamic resistance level here. See how they're breaking it. They're going to come back and test it. Okay. That's what they do. Remember the big boys are here now. The hedge funds, the banks and all that. They're going to bring their reindeer games into our lifestyle. And you guys are going to have to understand how they do it. I trade with them uh, four days a week in the futures market. I understand the games that they play. I am a funded trader. I trade other people's capital. And I trade a lot of other people's capital. And I get to my payouts consistently. So I do have, you know, the, the, the expertise to be showing you this. So that's our analysis today for um, Inc. And it is 10, it's 3, 10, 24. So remember, you're waiting for a retrace around these area. Retrace means you're waiting for price to come back into this area so you can buy, right, to the upside. That's what I would be doing. Or I'm going to wait for price to come up here on the, on the macro chart and make a lower high, okay? Because right now it's trying to make, it, 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 it's made one lower, let me show you, show you better than I can tell you. Let me see, do we have arrows on here? Once again, guys, forgive me, I, 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 I use Ninja Trader, so I gotta go looking for things here. All right, here we go, arrows. All right. Price did not make a lower, a higher high here. That's a problem. Price did not make a higher high here. It's trying, okay? This is a peak trough candle. So things can still go, it, it, it still can go, but look. Look at the momentum that's being lost. If momentum wasn't being lost in the candles, then they wouldn't, they would have made, this would have looked like this. It'd have been slightly higher. Still from the peak trough over here, it's a lower, it, it, it's a lower high, but hey, they're showing that, you know, hey, we got some cojones. We're, we're trying to push it back up, but they haven't showed that yet. Okay, that's why I'm saying be leery. Now is probably not the time to, to put your whole, you know, if you, if you like to invest, you know, 500 a week or 100 a week, it may not be the time to put the whole 100 in because they're making, they're not making higher highs. They're making higher lows, which means the momentum is being lost, right? And so what you're going to need is the community and everyone to start buying at these levels, okay? Once they start buying at these levels and these sellers who are attempting to push the market down so that they can trick everybody and get it for a cheaper price because now that the big boys are here, that's all they're going to do is try to play with your emotions. They're not trying to pump our stuff. What they wanna do is they wanna play with your emotions. They know this stuff is going to the moon, but they need to get it for as low as they can and to get the best positions. And you need to be a part of that too. So it made lower low and a lower uh, a lower high and another lower high, right? So if it was going to continue and you wanted to go to the downside, what you would need is this. So I'll give it, like I said, I'm going to always give you both aspects, okay? Where it could go even lower, okay? You're going to need this. This is going to be red for sellers. 
stellar power and we want to make it darker because it is a higher time frame. And so we want to understand that those are heavier and they have a little more power. Let's remove this just for the time being. Okay. Let's say that this was a beautiful swing here that they crossed over. Boom. Okay. And then let's say that this was a swing. This is a swing actually. Okay. So I'm, I'm exactly painting you a picture. Well, you couldn't say that just yet because we don't have a full A, B, C, D setup, but let's just say we did. Okay. Let's say we did, but we don't, I wouldn't be drawing this di This dynamic level is not real yet because they're still missing two more candles to prove that this is a real dynamic swing. Let's move this out of the way so people don't get confused. Now, this is just for example, to show you, remember, we look at the market from both, both angles so that we can get the best price. So if I'm looking here, bam, 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 what I would be saying is, okay, if this were true, but we're pretending it's not, but if it were true, what I would want to see is, I would want to see price come back up with a nice, beautiful swing and then stop before they even get close to this dynamic resistance level. That's what I would really want to see, right? I don't want to see them hit this dynamic uh, resistance level. I don't even want them to test it. I want them to stop short. Then I will have clear indication that, okay, they're making another one of these. And then we would get boom. Now we got three in a row. They're probably going to smash these buyers. The buyers are probably no longer there, right? Especially if, you know, there wasn't a lower low being made and there was a lower high that was created right here. So let's go and get you a green for the four hour. Lower high got created here instead of a lower low down here to bounce off of this dynamic support level, which would show, you know, that's what was supposed to happen, right? This line here, price comes here, bounce off of that, and then back up. But if price comes to here and then they start going back up, well, you know, our price comes to here, you know, let's say price does come to here, right? We get price, price comes down to here. Okay, cool. We get the traditional move back up to the upside and then they fall short of even coming into this area, not even testing this level, but falling short, then that would create what is called a momentum slope analysis. And the momentum slope analysis would read that, let's say they come to there and now price comes here and then comes up to here and starts to give me a perfect swing to the downside. Well. The momentum has completely changed because price should have just kept doing this, but instead it's falls short of glory. So that's what you would be looking for, for the reversal to the downside. Maybe you're going to get out the trade. I don't know how you guys trade ink. I don't own this, but I'm just showing you from both perspectives. Now, remember, if you want to do it, take your time, do it right. You can do it. You can get your money right. It is I, Johnny Haikinashi, futures funded trader on these Wall Street charts, and Master Sensei of the Freedom Nation.